Australians have always had a special affinity with the bush. For the folks who make their lives far from our big cities, the men and women who spend their days caring for cattle and country. These are their stories. My name is Barb Madden. I'm from Smithfield Feedlot. I'm married to Don and we have three beautiful children. Proston is, it's about uh, a little over 300 kilometres northwest of Brisbane, so it takes about three and a half hours by road and it's uh, nestled in the South Burnett region. Don is a local lad. He's a little bit older than me. We didn't go to school together. It's interesting, we're from the exact same town. We know everybody. Well, Barb and I got married in 1994. We lived at Wandai, a town about 40 kilometres from here. We, uh, we moved to Charleville uh, for a few years, um, but we decided to move back home and get involved in the business. Uh, it was about that point in time we were going to start our family. Don and I have three children, James who's 14, Annabelle is 12 and Ned is 9. We wanted to raise our children where we were raised. We, it's, it's a really lovely environment to raise kids and there's just a sense of freedom and security. Don and I decided that educating our kids was the most important thing that we can give them. So our eldest son James has gone to Brisbane and uh, he's now currently in year nine, so he's had a year of boarding and Annabelle is, has just gone into year eight. Such an early age and it's difficult because you're not there every night for them to discuss those happenings in their life every day. It's been a real challenge for us. It's, um, it's been a very emotional decision and I'm going to start crying now. See, that's how emotional it is. It's really difficult when your kids leave home. I didn't mean to cry, sorry. Started by Barb's dad, Robert, in 1986, this remains a family business built with the assistance of loyal workers. And that's something Robert is very conscious of. Uh, there are some people that working here that I've known all their lives. They're much younger than I am and they're residents of the town and they own houses in town and this is where they want to work. At the moment we employ about 40 staff, so quite a few of those are full-time. We also have casual and part-time positions. We also have a good gender balance, I think. You know, there's lots of, lots of females working here. Uh, my name is Matilda and my job here is I am a feed truck driver. It's good to work for a family rather than just a big company. They definitely make us feel like we're all just one giant family. Yeah, yeah, they're great people. At the heart of this family business is the welfare of the cattle, and every morning pen riders take the time to check the health of each and every animal. Well, shall we go in and have a little bit of a look at them? Yeah, I think so. We can see how they're doing today. So basically all we're doing is, uh, is just ensuring that every animal here is happy and content. All right, so we'll just move through them quietly and we won't disturb them too much. I'm from Warris Creek, just south of Tamworth, and I've come here as part of the Trainee Manager Program. Geordie is a graduate from UNE. Um, she's an honour student in animal science, and she's going to learn all facets of the business from the ground up. This is her first job, so it's pretty exciting that we've been able to make her feel welcome and part of our local community. You know, she's this young girl that moved away from home for the first time, so we've really tried very hard to make sure that she feels a part of the community. Well, we better go put in these footy tips. Don and Barb have been great getting me involved in things so I can meet more people. So we're off to netball. Are we playing Monday night? Um, I think we've got a bye, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, we have a bye. Geordie loves netball, so she's embraced um, the raspberry tarts with all enthusiasm, which has been wonderful. And we're undefeated, actually, this season, so that's, that's pretty good. Our local show was just last weekend, so she was down there on her days off, you know, being in the ring, you know, supporting the local show society. Yeah, I've really enjoyed Smithfield. Everyone's been really welcoming, and everyone's shown me so much. I've won a heap since being here, so I definitely want to stay. <laughs> For Barb, community is everything, and her ability to connect with others extends beyond the town of Proston. About 40 minutes from home is the Aboriginal community of Sherberg, and some enduring friendships. I began working in Sherberg in 1998. I took on the role as the Chief Finance Officer for the Sherberg Aboriginal Council. It was a big step, both professionally and personally, for me. 
Sherberg was a community that was established uh, as an Aboriginal reserve, they used to call them back in those days, where Aboriginals were removed from where they were living at the time and taken to these reserves. They would be provided with rations daily so that they would go down and get their rations and they had to be, write out a permit if they wanted to go into the nearest town. They had to seek permission to be married. The freedoms that white society enjoyed were just not afforded to the Aboriginals on these, on these reserve communities. Hello! <laughs> well look, Arnie Ada, she is just the most amazing woman. You don't look any older, Ada. You're, you're ageless. Oh, there we go. I'm ageless. She is. <laughs> and you listen to the stories that she had to endure as a young girl, and then she married and then ended up having ten children. Just the hardships, you know, searching for food when you're eight months pregnant because you can't feed your family on the rations that the government was supplying. She saw some pretty horrible things and was treated pretty horribly, but has gotten through that grief and that loss and is just the most loving, beautiful person. Despite the challenges of living on the land, Don and Barb wouldn't swap it for anything. They just love that they can share it with their children. We're going to walk like a cow, aren't we? Why don't you want you to walk like? A wolf. Yes, you don't want to be a wolf. Nice and steady, Ned. I suppose our children grow up understanding what we do and that's a great thing. We look after these cattle for a period of time and they understand that. We mix the feed, we take care of them. It's simple for kids to understand that and for them to be involved is great for us too. We, we get to combine work with family life and uh, teach them about how nature works and how even business works to a certain extent. It's, it's a great combination.